Believe it or not, Chinese scientists have created a machine that can produce clean, unlimited, and most importantly, free energy for everyone to use. They managed to create a reactor that surpasses the heat of the sun by almost five times and additionally, improves on several limitations which previous fusion reactors had. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode I'll show you the capabilities of the so-called artificial sun, what it's doing right now and what it will do in the very near future. One thing is for sure, the technology race between the United States and China is starting to literally heat up. Just last week, China has reached another milestone in its quest for the first real and functioning fusion reactor, with one of its so-called artificial suns, sustaining extreme temperatures for several times longer than its previous benchmark, according to international media publications. The most advanced superconducting company in China logged and harvested a plasma temperature of around 120 million degrees Celsius for several minutes just last Friday, according to several big science publications. This temperature is hundreds of times hotter than the surface of the second hottest object, our sun. This fact clearly shows us how much energy this fusion reactor managed to produce and distribute to an artificial energy distributor to simulate how it would run when connected to an energy grid. Just to compare this advancement to the previously most advanced reactor, just last year, the sister company EAST has achieved a plasma temperature of just 100 million degrees Celsius for only 20 seconds. This most recent experiment means Chinese scientists have sustained the extreme high temperature for many times longer. But this isn't the only project trying to create a second sun. In Chengdu, the tokamak apparatus, operated at 150 million degrees Celsius for up to 10 seconds in an experiment late last year. This is another 30 million degrees hotter than what was accomplished now. But its short lifespan doesn't really help in the production of energy and is practically the most difficult part of fusion reactors to sustain. China joined the International Fusion Reactor Project back in 2003, and it was hailed at the time as a chance for the country's experts to broaden their horizons and offer China a voice in the world scientific community. The International Fusion Reactor Project's goal is to create a permanent fusion reactor that manages to produce more energy than it requires by the year 2025 and thus making the energy virtually unlimited. This future fusion reactor is planned to be deployed both in Europe and China. The European Union pledged close to $22 billion in a new funding round back in February. China National Nuclear Corporation will install the reactor's core equipment. Chinese scientists have previously been quoted as saying that they hoped China's own experiments, though smaller, could help provide more information to ITER. The advantages of having unlimited energy all over the world should be self-explanatory. The safety and efficiency to even nuclear reactors is incredible. Countries where there's not a lot of wind or sun will have huge problems in a future where fossil fuels and similar so-called dirty ways of producing energy are no longer viable or maybe even straight up forbidden. Every country could get a single fusion reactor to potentially power many cities at once. But what about the countries that aren't able to get even a single fusion reactor up and running? Those countries could fall back behind even more and would have to rely on richer countries practically extorting them. The performance of fusion devices has risen by a factor of 100,000 over the last 50 years of experimentation, but another factor of 5 is needed to reach the level of performance required for a power plant. Researchers are striving to improve the state of the plasma by adjusting temperature, density, and confinement time. Unlike ordinary nuclear power plants, which use fission reactors to break atoms, ITER seeks to fuse atoms together at 150 million degrees Celsius. The tokamak reactor is based on ideas that were first tested in the Soviet Union. To keep superheated plasma in place, lasers and powerful electromagnets are placed around a super-cooled, donut-shaped container. Simply put, nuclear fusion is the process by which two light atomic nuclei combine to form a single heavier one while releasing massive amounts of energy. In order to fuse on our sun, nuclei must contact at extremely high temperatures, reaching 10 million degrees Celsius, in order to overcome mutual electrical repulsion. The attractive nuclear force between the nuclei will overwhelm the electrical repulsion after they overcome this barrier and approach within a relatively close range of one other, allowing them to fuse. To improve the odds of collision, the nuclei must be confined within a compact space. 
The enormous pressure created by the Sun's tremendous gravity creates the ideal conditions for fusion to occur. The scientists have made a bold promise, to produce 10 times the amount of energy it consumed. Even though the ITER reactor was only a test reactor that would never actually connect to the grid and produce electricity, such a result would be a record-smashing number for fusion reactors compared to its predecessor, a reactor called JET in the United Kingdom. That one couldn't manage to break even, which means that it produced less power than it consumed. The reactor's scaled-up design is responsible for ITER's impressive energy production boost. Size is a limiting problem for donut-shaped fusion reactors known as tokamaks, such as ITER and JET. ITER's massive size, standing approximately 240 feet tall and weighing 23,000 tons, permits the group to make such bold claims. Fusion reactions have been successfully achieved in many experiments, albeit without demonstrating a net fusion power gain. Nuclear fusion and plasma physics research is conducted in more than 50 countries, and fusion reactions have been successfully achieved in many experiments, albeit without demonstrating a net fusion power gain. How long it will take to recreate the process of the stars will depend on mobilizing resources through global partnerships and collaboration. The interest has especially increased after fusion reactors have started to look like viable energy producers and not just hopeful science fiction. The, the sun is a, a nuclear explosion, a fusion explosion. That's what the sun is. It's an ongoing fusion explosion. So if you wanted to uh, add energy to Mars, like warm up Mars, the, really the source of almost all energy in the universe is fusion. But what I was really talking about is creating two little suns, uh, two pulsing suns above the north and south pole of Mars that would warm the, the poles up enough so that the frozen CO2 would, would gasify and densify the atmosphere. Some of the water would also um, heat up and, and you'd have sort of water, more water, water vapor and um, CO2 in the, in the Martian atmosphere, which in that case is good because the, the CO2 ends up warming, warming Mars up. And so you get a positive um, sort of reaction, like it's a positive cycle of, of warming on Mars. Like you want to warm Mars up, you don't want to warm Earth up. Finally, fusion reactors are no longer 20 years away from being useful but rather 4 to 5 years instead. This makes it very clear that we need to start thinking about the impact this technology will have on all those different countries in the world. So what is your personal opinion on the topic of fusion reactors? The benefits are hard to ignore and absolutely incredible, but we also cannot ignore the problem of poorer nations potentially being left behind completely and having to keep relying on more expensive, less efficient and dirtier energy sources like coal. Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.